So you might be wondering, what is the most sustainable diet that you can follow today that you're gonna be doing for the rest of your life? First off, you gotta understand that there's two types of dieting. There's the temporary and then there's forever. There's temporary diet when you're maybe in a 28 day belly burn challenge where you're focused and you refuse all Cinnabons and you're going out for dinners and you're not eating and you're not drinking with your friends and there's forever where you actually create some type of balance in your diet. You drink, you eat, you enjoy, but you do so in moderation. So you gotta decide, are you in a temporary diet where you can stay focused and hardcore where you have maybe a short term goal? Or is this something that you wanna do forever and maybe you wanna see your weight gradually come down or maybe stay the same, have your body fat drop a little bit, put a little bit more muscle on, but in the end it's all about just the 1% better and you're focusing on every single day for the rest of your life. Number two is that you gotta understand that there are peaks and valleys. There's times when you're on point and then there's times when you fall off. But as long as you're following the 80-20 rule, you're going to succeed. You gotta remember that one bad meal doesn't bury the three great meals that you had for the day. So if you had a Cinnabon that day, but then you had egg whites, you had your multi-grain toast, you had your protein shakes, you had everything else, and you kept your, within your caloric range, and even better, you hit your macros, that one bad meal is not going to break you. Just like having a bad day. One bad day doesn't mean that you gotta have a terrible week. You just had one bad day. So what do you do the next day? You think about that day, you think about how you can make an adjustment, and you get better. So one bad week or bad day doesn't mean that you're forever doomed, or bad meal or bad week of eating doesn't mean that you're gonna be forever gaining weight. It just needs that you need to reset, recharge, and refocus. And the third, which is probably the most important to me, is that we gotta understand that we can't do this alone. Even if you decided that one day you wanna take yourself and separate yourself and detach from all society, from social media, from whatever it is, from family, people that are bothering you, doesn't matter you're still going to find a way to connect. Whether you're connecting with nature, whether you're connecting with your environment, either way, you're not alone. You're finding a way to build a companion. It might not just be a person, but you're finding a way to be a companion because we can't do this alone. So if you're really frustrated with yourself and you're eating, then the best advice that I would tell you is to hire help. When I was starting off my business, the best thing that I ever did was arrange mentors in university. And then furthermore, I hired coaches that were very specific to specific things that I needed within my business. In the case of your eating, if you're struggling with your eating and you find that you can't even stay on point for at least 21 days, then make sure that you do reach out and hire the help because the value is there. If you can't do something on your own, then you either have to pay with your time or you have to pay with your money. And most people might not want your time, but they'll definitely take your money so that they can give you their time to make sure that you're actually reaching your goals when it comes to your nutrition. And we all think that, hey, you know what, I'm just gonna get an accountability buddy, I'm gonna get a friend, but the thing about it is if they, you're not paying them, they're not going to pay attention. Their lives are gonna get busy, they have other things to do, and if they're not secure in their dieting or they don't have the knowledge base of how to help you with yours, well, guess what? You're only just planning for failure. Now, I'm not saying that that doesn't help, but if you're really focused on it and it's really bothering you, then you have to take yourself to that next level of professionalism. So there we have it, guys. We understand that there's two types of dieting. There's temporary and there's forever. We understand that there's always gonna be peaks and valleys and that we aren't our own island, that we can't do this alone and that we should reach out and find somebody that can really bring us to that next level. So give the video a like, hit subscribe, Hit the share button, share it on Facebook. Let's help out our friends there and let's reach our goals together.